What is up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at how to add and subtract fractions which are mixed numbers, or in other words, greater than one. Let's go. Okay, what do we need to remember today? Well, we need to remember that we can only add and subtract fractions that have the same denominator. And we can see in both of these examples, we do not. We have 5 sixths added to 4 fifths, and again, 5 sixths subtract 4 fifths. So we're going to need to find some equivalent fractions. And if you haven't understood how to find equivalent fractions yet, then go back to the channel and watch that video first. That will be very helpful for you. But essentially, finding an equivalent fraction means that we can keep the value of the fraction the same, but change the numbers. Essentially, it's changing it from cutting a one chocolate bar into six, and having five of them, to cutting the same size chocolate bar into 12, for example. But this time, instead of having five, we would have 10. So we still have the same value, but our chocolate bar has been cut into different amounts and we get different amounts of them. Or in other words, my fraction will look different. So my first job is to try and find a common denominator that I can use for both of these fractions. And the way that we can do that is we can go and find a lowest common multiple of these two numbers. And to find a lowest common multiple, I could just go in my multiplication table. So 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, I'll pause there, and then do the next list, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, bingo, I thought I'd find that, I have a 30 in both of these lists, therefore 30 is a lowest common multiple that I can use for my new denominators, or I'm sure a few of you realise that if I just simply times 6, multiply by 5, I'll get 30 also, so I'm going to rewrite my fractions, but this time I'm going to use the denominator 30 for its equivalent fraction. So how did I get from 6 to 30? Well, I multiplied by 5. So to keep the fraction equivalent, I need to multiply the numerator by 5 as well. And 5 times 5 is 25. So 25 thirtieths is equivalent to 5 sixths. So my new fraction on this side is 1 and 25 thirtieths. And let's look at the other side. 5 to 30 is a times 6. Therefore, I need to times my 4 by 6 as well, which is 24. So 24 thirtieths is equivalent to 4 fifths. And my new fraction is therefore 2 and 24 thirtieths. Now it's pretty simple when it comes to adding these, because another way of writing this would be that I have 1 as my whole number, plus 2, the other whole number, plus 25 thirtieths plus 24 thirtieths. So let's start with the easy part first. 1 plus 2 is obviously 3. And then my fraction will be, of course, still in thirtieths because I'm adding 25 thirtieths to 24 thirtieths. Just like saying if I added 25 elephants to 24 elephants, I'm still going to be having something elephants. And 25 plus 24 is 49. So my answer could be 3 and 49 thirtieths. But I'm sure a few wizards in there are going to notice that this is an improper fraction. I have 49 over thirtieths. So if I wanted to be a complete whiz, I will see that there is another whole lot of 30 in my 49, leaving my answer as 4. And then how many were left over? There was 19 left of my thirtieths. So my final answer is 4 and 19 thirtieths. Let's put that up here. 4 and 19 thirtieths. Okay, let's look at the red chili challenge. I have 4 and 5 sixths. Subtract 2 and 4 fifths. So let's try and do this a bit quicker. And notice that if I multiply 6 times 5, I will get 30. So my new equivalent fractions will be out of 30. How did I get from... 6 to 30, well it's a times 5, so therefore I'll times the numerator by 5 as well, so 5 times 5 is 25. How did I get from 5 to 30? That's a times 6, so I'm going to times the 4 by 6 as well, 24. Put back my whole numbers, first one was 4, 
second one was 2. So now I have 4 and 25 thirtieths, subtract 2 and 24 thirtieths. So I'm going to do my whole numbers first of all. 4 subtract 2 will leave me with 2. And then we know my answer is going to be in thirtieths. And if I had 25 thirtieths and I take away 24 of them, I'm going to be left with 1 thirtieth. So my final answer for 4 and 5 sixths, subtract 2 and 4 fifths, is 2 and 1 thirtieth. Easy! So now it's your turn. Have a go at working out these two questions. We have a green chili challenge and we have a red chili challenge. Take your time, press pause on the video now and put your answers in the comment section. I'm going to try and mark them all. Press pause, good luck. And there you have it. That is how to add and subtract mixed number fractions or fractions that are larger than 1. If this was helpful, head on over to themathshelter.com where you're going to find loads more videos covering all of the UK curriculum. But for now guys, I'm going to see you in another video. Peace out.